Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan Lovegrove and welcome to Tuesday Tidbit, the weekly show where I tell you an interesting tidbit of information about Greer. BMW and other major manufacturers host many headquarters in Greer, and they are constantly looking for young people like Macon as they grow up and go into college to service their factories, to build the robots that help build their products. Today I'm joined by Macon. He is actually a finalist for the state robotics competition in Vex Robotics. He didn't win the whole thing, but he did qualify to go to Vex World. So thank you for coming on. You're welcome. Yeah. So people like yourself are being trained to go into the workforce, being trained, even if you don't go into engineering, but being trained well to go into a position. So how, what made you really want to get interested into this robotics program? Well, I was at summer camp here a lot this summer, and I, this, I was on a rim of, do I really want to do it or not? So when I participated in the camp, robotics camp this summer, it really made me want to do it. I really enjoyed driving and building robots. Awesome. So this year you came to your first competition, and for those who don't know, when you come to go to a robotics competition, you are actually competing in robots with other robots built by other local schools. So you went through your first competition. What were you kind of feeling after that competition? Well, we did sort of well the first competition. It definitely, definitely motivated me to do well the next competition, and I was really excited about it because, like you know, I've never been to a competition before. So it, I felt like it really got me started and I was ready for the next competition already. Awesome, so you're out there competing, you're back here building. What's kind of your favorite part about robotics? Probably working with a team and being able to build a robot together and making decisions about things that would be best for our team to do or not to do. And it's just really fun seeing skilled people do what they know how to do with robots. Awesome. So you went into to the state competition. You kind of had a rough start to be truthful, but once you got competing more, you did better. And as you got through, you got to those final matches. And there was one match, basically your last match, that was the one match that decided if you got to go to the world competition. So it was kind of going through your head during that final match It was the big moment. Well, at first I was standing up in the bleachers with another one of my teammates and we were like, did not want to look back. We were so nervous and we were just like, what's going to happen if we don't make it? And like, will any of our teams make it to Worlds? So we were just up there frantically praying. I cannot even count how many times we were up there praying, but we were very excited and we were just waiting for the final moment, whether if we got to Worlds or we didn't get to Worlds. Awesome, so congratulations to you and your team. Good, They're going to the Vex Robotics World Competition, which I'm sure is gonna be an amazing experience. I've had the opportunity to go once before. So one final question. How do you think being in robotics locally has helped equip you for future careers, even possibly like BMW and Greer? Well, in general, any job that you will have in the future, you always work with computers. So you'll need to know the basic principles of how to program a computer or use it, and if something goes wrong, what to do with it. For instance, just any office job, you'd need to know how to do any of that. Um, for BMW, it, you get the basic principles of how to build the robot, coding it, and even driving it. So that, it's very helpful in the future. Yeah, well thank you for joining me. And Megan is from a team at Bob Jones Academy that competes in local competitions all around the upstate and even into Georgia. So thank you so much. And thank you all for listening to this week's Tuesday Tidbit.